guys, this is all I see right here. By the way, performance is stellar. You just see like random homes like this. Nice. New builds. You do see some smaller, smaller homes. You see barns. Uh, I'm in, uh, I'm in rural Ohio. It's, it's wooded and it's farms. Who sent me on this wild goose chase? He said, you got to do it, Sneed. It's for the nation. It's for the people. Got to come through, man. <laughs> 637, 20 up. So who has been the best overall in your market around the area lately, bro? Um, in my market, man, you could basically have whoever you want. Whoever gives you, gives you the best deal, whoever gives you the best price, best plan, best perks, you could pick outside of the network. That's The networks are all pretty reliable. You'd be happy with T-Mobile. You'd be happy with Verizon. You'd be happy with AT&T. I think what it comes down to is you know who meets your budget needs and what type of promotion. Sometimes it's phone deals, right? And they're all kind of doing that. So... You know, you trade it in your phone, you get an iPhone or a Galaxy that'll give you a great deal. Guys, range is phenomenal. Beautiful. Uh, throughput. Efficiency. Wonderful. All right, we're back at the cell site. It's right there. I'm going to go around. I'm going to test the other sectors, see if there's any difference. So you guys see how there's like little to no population out here? When in the world would this ever get congested? I, I just, I can't imagine that world where the site is congested. So... And we're back here at the cell site. Uh, so this upgrade is going to be, it's going to last a while, right? Uh, the AT&T won't be back here for a long time unless something fails. Which would be interesting to know whether or not the gear is reliable. I, I haven't seen the gear. Let's see who's there. All right, guys, I thought it was T-Mobile on this back site, the one behind it, and it absolutely is. Uh, T-Mobile does appear to have some sort of shelter there on their site. So I'm guessing batteries and backup power and stuff like that. So that's good to see. All right, so we're on the other sector. We're on the other side of the tower. We're looking to see if we got comparable results. Looks like we do. Fitchville, Ohio. Just saw a sign, Fitchville, right there. 660 down, 50s for the uplink. Man, somebody tag Moose on this, man. All right, New London, we're 25 miles from Mansfield and 19 miles from Ashland. There's a Marathon gas station here. Hope they close this road, so we're gonna have to go this way. Vermilion River. Sorry for the road noise, guys, and the shaky camera. Uh, I mean, it's a, it's a decent road. It's not too bad. Everyone buy him a coffee for this road trip. Thanks, man. Yeah, if you guys want to support me, uh, the best way to do it, obviously, likes and shares are, are greatly appreciated. You know, let people know what's happening here on the channel. You know, obviously, this is a pretty cool video. It's a very exclusive look into the AT&T network as we drive test the first converted Nokia to Ericsson Oran site in Ohio. And uh, it's very, very good. Again, that site probably doesn't have more than a one gig fiber circuit. I would not expect 10 gig fiber out here. It just doesn't make any sense. That one gig fiber circuit will probably suffice for many, many years to come. Be interesting to see if AT&T has DSL here or if they have fiber. I, 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 I'd be surprised if they had fiber or else they would have ran it themselves to the tower. Right? They wouldn't be using Everstream. Uh, 474 down, 14.4 up. We're probably on the edge of cell now. Right, We're still connected. I'm still getting 5G+. plus. This is good. Bro, I'm telling you, man. I think this Ericsson gear is a winner. This conversion is going to work out nicely for AT&T. I think they, uh, they made a good decision. It's Armstrong out here? What the hell? I didn't know Armstrong was out here. I thought they were in PA. Dennis always talks about them out there in Pittsburgh. Wireless ISPs. Yeah. I believe that. I did see some wireless ISP gear on my way into town. I saw, like, these little antennas sticking on top of somebody's, like, business pointed across the street. And then I saw it. It's in Medina, too. Oh, that's right. I did know that, actually. 
fiber, strong fibers in Madonna. Yeah, yeah, I did know that actually. All right, so we're on the other side of the wooded area. The tower site's across the that woods. Still connected and still really, really good. Armstrong Hub in Ashland. Yeah, we're and we're like less than twenty miles away. Yeah. All right, six fifty-seven down. We're still in the 30, 39, 40 range. Uh, I'm a big fan of this Ericsson gear. Somebody tag Moose. Let him know. Let him know the Death Star is back, baby. They're just going to have to scale these upgrades, though. You know, this uh, conversion, which is better for you live out in the country, Verizon or AT&T. Well, I'm live streaming on Verizon here, so you guys tell me how that's going. No, nah, no turbo. I don't know. Maybe turbo, I get some additional throughput. Maybe, right? I wish I had the feature. I, I'm just, I'm not really willing to pay because I don't feel the need for it. Uh, the network's pretty fast here. You know, you, you see what I'm getting without Turbo. T-Mobile in rural Ohio, well in the area of need is in. Sucks. Really? MAGA country? <laughs> uh, they don't like brown folks out here, man. They don't like bearded folks. Bearded brown folks. What's up, Tyler? Grandma lives out there in the country. Right on the edge of 5G Ultra Wide Band. Yeah. SOS mode most of the time. Well, AT&T's got this area covered pretty nicely. <laughs> Still on the 5G Plus. All right, looks like we're uh, we're on the edge of the edge. Probably charge more so people can use the New York gear on their phones. And if you guys want to support me through, like, um, like direct supports... I have a buy me a coffee link that's in the description. You guys could do that. That's great. Thank you. There's a PayPal link. I think um, might even be a Venmo. I'm not sure. Cash app or something. I don't know. Obviously, you guys don't have to, but it'll be cool to get the uh, get the fuel taken care of today. <laughs> I, had to, I had to gas up today before I came out. Should go to Noya, Ohio. Get from you. Got a tower site near Callahan's. It's Verizon only. Armstrong back home. Sounds like a firmware issue. All right, so you guys see how the latency is spiking? We're in the thousands now, All right? That's what happens on edge. So you start to get some some noisy connectivity. All right, I'm gonna turn around. All right, we have officially lost the 5G Plus connection. It's a good five, six miles, guys. That's pretty impressive. See, with a 300-foot cell site, that's the type of thing you can get. Looks like they switched me to the low band. Still pretty good. Dude, this street is so skinny. <laughs> it's so skinny. I better get the hell out of here, man. I don't need anybody looking at me and saying, who the hell is this guy? Who the... Is that guy? <laughs> <laughs> 